um, two Chinese folk songs with us. Um, and it was just really great to, to have a kind of Western approach to Chinese folk music that we were able to play in concert. Um, there was one called Wan Hua Hua that we played for the first time um, in Xi'an, and it turned out that it was from that region of China. So all of the um, administrators and, you know, who was the president of, of Zhaoda and all the, all the big administrators for the university at the beginning of Nebraska Week, um, they just, all their faces lit up, and it was just like really magical. We could all see it all of a sudden. We had no idea we were going to get this reaction from that, and it was, it was really... And they all came up afterward, and they were just, you played a piece from our region, and it was so special to them. So yeah, really... along that line as well, when we played the piece with them, Jasmine Flower, you know, the piece that we just performed uh, here, we're not, not really that different, and the music really bridges the gap that we can get together and um, communicate on stage without much rehearsal time. And, uh, and really, you know, just sit down and have a conversation with each other, you know, without kind of rehearsal or anything like that. And, uh, language wasn't a barrier, and I think the, for the audience to see that as well, not just for us, the, you know, performers on stage, for the audience to see that, you know, we could come over there and um, you know, perform together um, with uh, Chinese musicians, I think the audience took something away from that. But, you know, they probably took a lot of things away, but I, hopefully one of them is that we're not so different. Like I said, we sort of encountered that uh, touring feel that's a professional touring uh, sort of setting where you're performing every day and you don't have a lot of <clears throat> in between time to, to work something else up or to practice together or practice on your own. So just being thrown into that sort of professional uh, touring feeling is making us learn how to do that in the future. Like we already went to the Pacific Northwest, kind of took what we learned in China and were able to apply it there. These are just fantastic experience. One time, I think it was me and you, and possibly you, went to, went, and it was raining. And so it was one of those days where not so many musicians were out playing in the park, and there weren't quite as many like dancers dancing and singers singing. And uh, But we, we walked to this little stone bridge, and this man was under the bridge, an elderly man, playing a really long flute, some kind of Chinese flute. And the rain was falling, and it was silent. It was one of those timeless moments. And, just moments like that happened throughout the trip and, and they were all just really special. Many things from the moment we took off from the Lincoln Airport and then landed and 20 minutes that, later. James had to go to DC oh, yeah. to get that ticket. <laughs> to, yeah. It was just the whole thing was just kind of, uh, well, some crazy thing just happened, let's just smile and go with it. Yeah. And we just well, kind of had adventure. to, um, yeah, have, have these crazy adventures and know that it would all turn out for the best. And if you have that attitude, it just all kind of came together and it was pretty, pretty cool.